how is the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, which was just made available this week, different from the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines that we've had since December? Does the fact that it's not a messenger RNA vaccine make, make a difference? Dr. Wall. It's a really good question, Helen. And, and um, the vaccine differs in a few different key ways. One is it is not an mRNA vaccine. Remember, mRNA is like a text message that we send to the cell to make some proteins that um, are similar to what the, the virus has on its surface. So when we make those proteins, our cells make those proteins, we make antibodies against those proteins, it protects us when the virus comes into our body. Um, the way that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine works is different. It takes an adenovirus, a very common virus that's around that many of us get infected with, but one, a strain that's less common for many of us to, to have seen before, and puts the message in that. And then the message gets through the adenovirus into our cells. The adenovirus can't replicate, it can't make us sick. We don't get sick from that but it's a nice little taxi cab to send the message to the cell to do the same thing and to start making those proteins. So they have some, some analogous ways of working, but some differences too. And so, um, but the big, big, big difference logistically is that the mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, they are using two shots. It requires what we call cold chain. As you know, they have to be kept really super cold um, where the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is one shot and it's much more stable in the temperatures that we just see in our refrigerators and in our clinics. So it has a lot of advantages. There were different studies of the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and now the Johnson & Johnson or J&J &J vaccine. It's very hard to compare them. And the reason for that is that they're, they've been done at different times. They've been done in different places. The Moderna trial was done 100% in the United States the J&J &J or Johnson & Johnson vaccine, only half the people in the United States and many of the others were in other parts of the world, including South Africa and Latin America, where there are these new variants, these worrisome variants that don't seem to be as well protected against by the vaccines we have right now, including Pfizer and Moderna. So it's a little bit like comparing apples and oranges. So I'm a little cautious about saying, well, in one study we saw 95% efficacy. In this one, we're seeing 60 to 70% efficacy. Isn't that worse? Maybe, maybe not. I think it's really hard. Clearly, the J&J &J vaccine works really, really well. And for severe disease, worked really just as well as what we're talking about for the existing vaccines. And there were no deaths in people who got the J&J &J vaccine compared to some deaths in the placebo due to COVID-19. So on the whole, I think the J&J &J vaccine is going to be very popular because it's a one and done shot. I think it's going to be convenient. And I think many people want that shot, even over the mRNA vaccines that are out right now. Um, Dr. Martinez Bianchi, are, are people asking about the J&J &J vaccine? Yes. <laughs> we have people asking for the one shot only. Um, and, and we also have people asking for just the Moderna. Like we, I am organizing a vaccination event in Durham for Thursday, and we are also already hearing people that want that one because they know it's the Moderna. And there are days then that, but we also sometimes call people to say, you know, we have a spot and they're like, oh, no, no, no I'm waiting for the, just one single shot. So I, I think we're going to see uh, both of these things.